Those crescent cookies, those prune-shaped cookies, those tossed salads and scrambled eggs. No, I was just having a, a discussion with a friend of mine in New York on Skype, and he was telling me something that I've kind of felt as well, that it seems that gay people don't have very much of a support system anymore. Maybe we can say, oh, well, they don't need one because, oh, well, now they're so privileged, right? Sure. See, one of the problems is you can get support as long as you're an SJW and you agree with everything the SJW say. But if you don't, well, then you're the, you're the enemy of the LGBTQIAA community. If you, if you say anything against the SJW stuff that's going on, then you're suddenly an enemy of the LGBTQIAA community. And it's, it's, it's depressing, you know? You can get, and then if you speak against the SJW thing, well then, well, you can have people that, you can be part of a group that says bad things about the LGBTQIAA community. And why do they say bad things about the LGBTQIAA community? Because the uh, uh, so much of the LGBTQIAA community is part of the SJW community. So you can sort of, you, you kind of have, and this is what it feels like. It may not be the way things really are, but this is what it feels like. It feels like you either disavow your identity if your identity has to do with anything sexuality or gender. You, you have to disavow that in order to get support. Well, then you're just another person and you, you're, the things you're getting support in have nothing to do with your sexuality or your gender or anything like that. You join a gang. You know, one gang, you have to hide part of who you are. Another one, yeah, you, you don't have to hide who you are, but you have to believe these things. Yeah, it's, it sucks. It makes me feel like as a gay man, I don't have much support. And another thing that doesn't, doesn't help is uh, I like masculinity. I, I happen to enjoy being masculine as much as I am. Now, some people like Pimp Monk think that I'm not so masculine. Well, that's fine, whatever. In contrast with a lot of other gay men, though, I'm considered pretty masculine. Like, I, like I've said before, I can't count how many times that I've been to a gay establishment and I'll hear some people saying in the background, well, I don't trust gay men unless they're at least a little bit feminine. What are they afraid of? And it's just like, uh, no, that's, that's not what it's about. You know, what does someone enjoy being? What do they enjoy being like? If you're supposedly so, so accepting, then wh why, would you, why would someone make a statement like that? Well, because you need to buy into this SJW thing. The reason why the LGBT community isn't getting as much support anymore is because so many of them have bought into the, you know, bought hook, bought hook, line, and sinker with the whole SJW thing. Heteronormativity, your privilege. That sort of bullshit talk. You gotta, you gotta buy into that and you gotta repeat that sort of thing. And whenever anyone says it, you should say, yes, amen. Of course, you don't say amen. You, you have, there's some other something or other, uh, uh, you know, uh, that you have to say to affirm what they're saying, right? Oh, you're so right. But it's, 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 it's just like a religion, though. So it might as well be amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So become part of this religion, and then you'll, you'll get all the support you want, kind of, but if you complain about anything that you're going through, you, there'll be the oppression Olympics and you're still considered too privileged to be someone who's allowed to complain about anything. Especially if you're a white male, you know? If you're a white male, no, you can't, don't complain about anything because you're privileged. So you don't even really fully get support there either. So gay men are, are losing support. We're losing support from both sides. Because again, if, if you identify as a gay man, then you're going to be lumped into the people that every everything is about identity politics and and the progressive stack and and all of this shit. You get shit on by both sides. That's what gay men have to deal with now. You're shit on by both sides. Especially if you're a masculine white gay man. You get shit on by both sides. How wonderful. 
just lovely. There are fewer and fewer support groups because, well, well, like, you know, gay people have, are more generally more accepted. Well, there is some truth to that. There is some truth to that if you can find the people that are more, you know, centrist. And finding people that are more centrist is becoming more and more difficult. Join one of these gangs. Again, you can join this gang and you'll be shit on because you're a white male. Or you can join this gang and get shit on because you're gay. And, and well, that's identity politics if you even say you're gay. I know I'm repeating myself a bit here, but it's, it's frustrating. And all of this stuff combined, I'm sure, it, it is making others besides myself, it makes people want to go back in the closet. Sad.